In this age of organized effort, it is essential that those engaged at our trade must likewise organize in order to establish and maintain desirable working conditions and thus provide for themselves and their family that measure of comfort, happiness, and security to which every good citizen is entitled in return for his or her labor from a deep sense of pride in our trade to give a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. Excellent. Plus, okay, I got everybody in here. So the question that I wanted to ask, you know, now that you've gone through the apprenticeship program and you're going to be mechanics very shortly, is how has the how has Local 28's apprenticeship program affected your life? How how has it affected your life? Well, me personally, I came in at an older at an older age, and uh, I came in for the benefits for my kids and my family. So the local definitely had the good benefits for that. And it also uh, taught me a responsible skill. It taught me a trade. Uh, it also uh, helped me build. Uh, what do you call this a word? What do you call that word? He asked you if you are um, confident, a confident person. It made me a more confident person. That's the word they use. And um, the money ain't bad. <laughs> so that helped out too. Um, besides that, friends, you meet, you meet new people all over. You get friends, you know. Taught me how to be unionized. That that makes that makes a big difference. How does it compare to working non-union? Ooh, uh, non. It has compared. It's don't. It's no comparison. It's a big difference there. Uh, in words, how can I put that? Um, Is it better? Oh, much better. Are you kidding me? Much better. Uh, conditions. Conditions of safety, more safety-wise. They 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 do their thing when it comes to safety. Where non-union you don't have that many safety things issues when it comes to that. So what's that? Uh, that's what's say OSHA. Yeah. Non-union ain't OSHA lies. So uh, definitely, it's 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 on point. It's definitely definitely the way to go. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. As as far as um, work-wise and 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 the level of, of, of the skill that you learn here, it's definitely above the rest. You know what I mean? Because Doing this type of work, work in union, you have pride in your work. You know, you you know not to you you wouldn't walk away from a, a job undone. You wouldn't leave out screws. You wouldn't leave out clips. You know, you make it sure is. everything's is sealed. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So as as far as the training that you get from the school and in in the field is top notch. You know what I'm saying? As far as like you know, couple uh, non union job, you might have one guy that knows. What's going on? You might have one guy that knows how to read a print, you know, and a, a bunch of helpers doing your job. On a union job, you're going to have everybody on there know how to read a print. Everybody's going to be on board with knowing what to do, what their job is. And you have everybody looking out for mistakes or, or whatnot, you know. So more professional? Yeah, definitely. Definitely more professional. And I, I personally feel like you build union, you get your money's worth, you know. You know, I, I'd say basically that as far as I'm concerned, Local 28 is the best thing that can happen to the average man without going to college. I make $74 an hour without stepping into a college room. Uh, I go to school two weeks every six months a year for four years. It doesn't guarantee me work when I get out, but it guarantees that I know what I'm doing when I'm out there. So I'm, I'm given the opportunity to work hard and advance in life. You know, I, I support my family. I have no problem paying my rent, overtime, benefits. I, I really can't complain about it. I mean, anything worth doing is hard. I'm not saying that, you know, it's a walk in the park and you can just come in here and BS every day and you'll, you'll make it. You, you might skate through. There's a few that skate through, but to be productive, you got to actually take your job seriously. It's, it's like anything else. I wouldn't uh, trade Local 28 for any other job. Uh, I love it. I feed my kids, my family. I make a great living off of it for somebody that didn't go to college. Compared to non-union, much better. Sometimes I drive by, I see the horrible work conditions non-union puts up with that I know we would never have to go through. Um, the pay rate, it's much better. It's great to know that 
you can always have your job, whereas a non-union, you can be here tomorrow, tomorrow, you could be here today, <coughs> tomorrow, you're gone. Um, as far as uh, opportunities, you can do a lot of things here in Local 28. Um, you can make over $100,000 without even putting tools on. These are the kind of things non-union don't offer. You can go into different, over 10 different fields of other things besides working with your tools. Good, good. Um, the instructors here are the best. And um, I'm proud of it. Yep, good answer. Okay. Hi, my name is Darren James. I'm uh, a member of Local 28 for four years. Um, to me, Local 28 has blessed me and my family very good. Um, I came in as an apprentice at a very old age. Um, it was hard. I had to take pay bills. I was only going to school six months, uh, six weeks out of every... Help me. Six weeks, two two weeks every six yeah. months. Yeah. Two weeks every six months. Two, Keep uh, on going. All right. <coughs> two, <coughs> two weeks every six months. And, um, right, you know. Let's let's stop. stop. No, nah, I don't want to be on the tape then. Stop no, keep it. Keep on going. He's going to edit it. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. I'll take you out anyway. You can start all over. Go ahead. Yeah, you, you can play your Start all over, D. Start all over, man. Yeah, start all over. Me. Just tell, just, just give just the meat of it. Just the all meat right. of it. Why are you here? Who knows? Um, yeah. I can't take you to what the files. The um, I'm finished. I ain't talk about oh, come on. Bring it over here. No. I just want to uh, say again what Ed said, my man, that sky's the limit in the school. It's like he said, it's ten, of, it's millions of other ways you can go higher and up in the school. Non-union ain't got nothing like that. I got stuff to talk about, too, since we, we, we are speaking on non-union. You know, Local 28 has formal training. It doesn't stop after the four years of apprenticeship. You, you can come back for, for sketching, blueprint reading. Right, that's what um, we're talking about. Testing and balancing. There, there's so many courses after the basic apprenticeship. The, the apprenticeship is just the basic skills yeah. you need to be a productive member of a team. After that, you can come back for specialization and learn so much more. Matter of fact, which, you could be lawyers which, too. You got lawyers and then lawyers too. He's, um, was it? Rigno. He became a bodybuilder. So many people the came out of Local 28 Sky's and did the whatever they wanted. And, and it's like, it's a brotherhood. It's not just a job. I'm going to a job and I'm bleeding all day, working 15 hours under harsh conditions, no real breaks, 15 minutes for lunch that, you, mind you, don't get paid for half the benefits and less money. I get treated like a person. And and the main thing when you go to when you come back to school at night, it's not like you paying thousands and thousands of dollars. I think it's like what fifty dollars, fifty dollars. That you get back after you complete the course. Okay, fifty dollars for the, for the class at night. You can't beat that. So what do you what do you have to say to anybody that might be thinking about being a member of Local Twenty Eight? Don't think, do it. I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, it's a great opportunity, you know what I mean? And um, for a lot of people like me, when I came in here, I really didn't know what sheet metal is. This, this thing says, you me know, either. sheet metal worker, you know. I know All either. I was thinking about is, okay, a they job. say you make Money. $40 an hour. Exactly. I, was, I was interested, you know, and I, I came here with no knowledge. Yep. And I'm leaving here with a bag of knowledge, you know. Yep. That you learn the work as you go. Yep. Learn how to do stuff, you know what I'm saying? Learn tricks of the trade. And... As these guys said, you know, you meet friends along the way, you know what I mean? Make some good connections, you know, have a good time, you know. And if you cooperate in class, sometimes teachers let you leave early, right, Ronaldo? Sometimes they do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's one thing that um, nobody touched on. Sure. <laughs> There's life after Local 28. You, you work till you're 55 and you got 20 or 30 years in and, and you retire. With a pension, an annuity, two pensions. and a 401k. Two pensions. Two, two pensions, I stand corrected. <laughs> but after this, you, it's not like they just leave you out to dry. Like, I, I've investigated. I mean, you could do the same. Go look at the non-union jobs. You might make $10, $15 an hour. From third term, you're making more than the majority of non-union out there. You know, when you finish serving your time, paying your dues, I call it. You're going to sit back with a lot of money coming to you. What's the fruits of your labor. Fruits Basically. Your labor. The fruits Basically. of your labor. For, um, for some people out there who, who don't really know what, what it is that we do, 
Basically, when you're sitting at that desk and that cool air is blowing on you, that's what we do. We 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 do the groundwork and all the hard work to make sure that air get delivered to you in your space to make you comfortable. That's what we sure do.